Good morning, friends. It's Sammy back with another episode of The Daily Dash. That's right, it's everything you need to know from around the world and in my life, straight from my car dashboard to yours. Today is uh, Thursday, August 11th, 2016. Not on the car dashboard today. I've got a couple meetings I've got to get ready for, so I'm doing it straight from my office. So without further ado, let me tell you what you need to know so you are in the know around the water cooler and in car line today. Okay, uh, first of all, there was a man that scaled Trump Tower, I guess, good morning, good morning, in an attempt to get a personal meeting with him. I don't think that worked out so well. Um, there was an explosion that destroyed an apartment complex in Maryland, um, and Trump, speaking of Trump, is now claiming that uh, Obama and Clinton are co-creators, co-founders of ISIS. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. You know, I have said, here's what I'll say. I don't talk a lot politically. I, I said it would be interesting to see, oh, hello, good morning. Yes, good morning or good afternoon in Ireland. Good to see you. Um, I think it would be interesting to see what a non-politician would do um, in the office. I've always said that. Um, so... Trump is a businessman, it intrigues me, but not, I mean, he's talking crazy. You cannot even hope to be president and talk the way he's talking. So, um, still don't know who I'm voting for, but that's scary. Um, and then uh, ESPN sports announcer John Saunders died at the age of 61, so that's a real loss for that uh, community. Uh, in the word... Memorizing Ephesians 5.15 right now. Be very careful then how you live, not as unwise, but wise. And our quote from Oswald Chambers today, Are we so noisy in our instruction of other people that God cannot get near them? Hmm. Sometimes we gotta let God do his thing and not be so pointy-pointy of the finger. So, okay. Big news in my life. First of all, this hair is gone. Hair is gone. Uh, if you follow along the Daily Dash at the blog, all that stuff, then you know that in April I had a, we'll call it an episode, um, where I kind of lost my mind a little bit, cut all my own hair off at about 2 in the morning, ended up in the ER a few hours after that um, with a TIA. And so, ironically enough, I never went to get my hair fixed after that. So you can see the actual photos on um, Instagram. I'll put a link below on the replay. I guess I never looked at the back of my head to see just how uneven it was. I shouldn't be surprised, but it was. So this is what we had to do to even it up. So that's the haircut. It has also been a week of like sickness and doctors for us. So Monday, my son came home and threw up. Tuesday, I had to go to the neurologist for said episode follow-up um, yesterday my husband had a crazy bug bite that took him to the doctor and today I'm getting an EKG as a follow-up for from the neurologist visit thank you appreciate the hair love um, so that's what we're up to today so praying fingers crossed praying that it's nothing and uh, just getting some knowledge to keep living better um, but yeah, that's what we're up to today. So I hope you guys have a great day wherever you are. Enjoy watching the Olympics. The women's all-around finals are tonight. More swimming, duel in the pool of Phelps and um, Lochte. L I can never say his last name. Ryan. We'll just go with Ryan. Uh, yeah. So go Team USA. Go cheer whoever you are cheering on in whatever part of the world you're watching from. And go make it a great day. Make sure you make it great. And don't wait to tell someone you love how you feel about them. Bye, friends.